All right, now what? Uh, yeah, I guess a bit of cleanup is in order. Oh. Okay, much better. All right, I need to figure out how high this thing needs to go in the air to be able to cut the biggest log I'm likely to have to cut. All right, with the cutter part here, this lines up right with that other part over there. So the bottom edge of this is it's pretty close to the center of the saw blade and the saw blade is a 12 inch 12 noodle unit saw blade so we'll stick, stick down just over six noodle units from here 15 centimeters okay okay so the bottom edge of this thing here has to be six inches above the top of my biggest log whatever I mean it's probably gonna be about a meter like three feet or so all right let's make some ground let's say I've got a one meter diameter log which ugh, I'm definitely not gonna be able to move anything bigger than that so to cut start cutting the top of that well I guess the saw blade actually goes in I don't need the saw blade to be above it but I want to have a little bit extra clearance. I don't know, maybe it doesn't matter. Okay, let's say, let's say the saw blade is gonna cut at least four inches on the first cut. So that puts my uh, top two inches above. You know what, I'm just gonna say it's gonna be the top, top of one meter. If I've got one meter of clearance in here, and that's the biggest log I can fit, fine. And if for some reason I bring over a log that happens to be bigger than a meter in diameter, like three feet, three inches, is that what? Three, three feet and a few inches. Um, I'll just chop the top off with a chainsaw or whatever, or the bottom actually, probably. But uh, I think most of my logs are going to be more like two feet across. So, okay. So let's make this a meter high so that part over there yeah, roughly a meter. And that's got a, an L channel here, and a square tube up here, and a square tube up there. Now, how high do I need to make this thing? How tall? It's going to have wheels at the bottom, but I want the wheels to be inside it, and the bottom, the bottom of this pipe thing to basically go down pretty much to the whatever track it's going to be on. And yeah. So actually when I put a track here, it'll lift up the whole thing to give me a little bit of extra clearance. But let's just, let's just say the track is underground for the moment. And uh, that way I'll get a bit of extra clearance when it, when it lifts it up. Okay. So this has to be a meter. This is six inches, four inches, 10 inches. Ugh, a meter and 10 inches. What are all these Ridiculous noodle units doing. Wait, 10 inches is like 25 centimeters. So I have one meter up to the bottom edge of there. And it's okay that this is sticking down. Um, it's gonna keep this whole thing from going all the way to the bottom, but that's okay, because the blade actually sticks down farther than this, so that's totally fine. So one meter and then 25 centimeters or 0 0.25 meters up to the top of that. So obviously 1.25 meters. Now how much do I want to leave sticking up the top to be able to you know, connect things and whatever? Another 25 centimeters? Do I make these one and a half meters tall? Sure, one and a half meters tall. Let's make that a 1.5 meters, yeah, from top to bottom, okay. And that'll leave me 25 centimeters to attach things, which is like, what's 25 centimeters? 25 centimeters is about, that's a little bit more than this page, right? These are eight and a half by 11s, yeah, that's enough. 
That's enough space to bolt stuff on and connect things and whatever. Oh, I think. All right, let's, let's go with that for the moment. So first thing I need to do is cut four of those, one and a half meters tall. Two on each side. Well, if I 3D this, one there, one there, one here, and then one there. And then connect in with some stuff. Oh, good, I found something with metric units. Yeah, 1.5, 1.5 meters, just under five feet. Sounds good. Okay, so the post comes right here and then off the other side over there. You know what? I don't need it to come above the top of this because it's gonna connect with something out here. And then across, I'll just connect it like out here. So this will actually be able to go right up to the top of these posts. So I guess I only need to make them a meter 25, not a meter 50. I don't need all the extra space up there. It's, this is kind of wasted, right? <clears throat> okay, so I've got my red part here, which needs to be able to slide up and down on these blue parts. And you know, the yellow part is in there, whatever. Um, I'm just trying to figure out if I need anything sticking above the highest point this can go to. I really don't think I do. I think I can just cut this at, scrap the 150, make it 125 centimeters. Maybe I'll leave a little bit extra. Let's make it 130. Yeah, so 1.3 meters is what I want those to be. And that even leaves me a little bit more than I think I need. So. Okay. Ah. <sighs> 1.3 meters, 1.3, 1.3, 1.3. And then I need to figure, well, I just need to go cut those first. You know what, these, this drawing should have this in front because that's gonna be here. And these will be on the outside of those, right. That's why I don't need it to be above, okay. So, I guess, yeah, first step four of those. I'm just hesitating a little bit because I know once I cut them, I can't really put them back together. So I need to make sure I cut them the right length. I also have a limited amount, so I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to screw that up at all. Well, I should be able to get three out of this piece, and this is less than half of what's out there. Uh, and three... We'll stop before I get to this junk at the top. It cuts it off somewhere around there. Then I can get the fourth piece out of this somewhere with some leftovers for, well, we'll see. I'll cut through this stainless part first. So this has a, uh, some stainless rail on it, which I may end up using. We'll see. By the way, I'm going to make sure have a nice One, two, three, four. Excellent. And I just need to clean them up. Get all these rivets and glue and well, more rivets. And, yeah, get all this stuff off. This used to be a ship mast. So it had lots of stuff attached to it. All right. 
So one of these goes here, and one goes at each of the four corners. And I'll connect them up at the top, probably just across here. I don't know. The, that part's easy. The tricky thing is figuring out how this slides up and down next to this. So this has to go and while it's doing that, it has to stay lined up. Like it can't, it can't just be connected at one spot or something, because then it'll, you know, it's, it's got to stay level as it goes up and down. All right, there's something I'm going to try here. I'm not sure if it's going to be any good. Yeah, it's not going to be wide enough. Alright, let's try it again. Looks not... All right, that's clamped on there pretty good. Now, how do I loosen these just enough that this can slide freely? Hmm, that can't be that hard, right? Okay. Uh, all right, it's pretty snug. Could actually be a little bit tighter. Beauty. Hmm. Yeah. That might actually be pretty good. I think it's stuck right there. 